Hey guys, Jeff here. I'm just going to do a follow up to the Uniblue Registry Booster video to show you guys that it really makes no difference whether you fix the entries that it lists as bad or that are that have errors or what are missing whatever uh, by timing the startup and shutdown of both before fixing the entries and then after fixing the entries. As of right now, you can see that I have a in my VM I have a dual core, so to speak, CPU set up with two gigs of RAM and I'm going to time it right now so as soon as I press the play button on the VM I'm going to have Mandy start the stop the stopwatch on the iPhone 4 so ready set and go so now it's booting up and and don't worry I'll count the same time with the play button and everything for when we boot up after we fix the entries as well so it's starting up Windows. We're waiting, we're waiting. We're still waiting. We'll uh, call it done as soon as it loads everything in the taskbars there and everything like that. Still waiting. Here we go. Almost there. Getting close. All right, as soon as everything finishes loading. All right, let's call it done. So that's 1 minute and 27 seconds, 27.9 seconds. All right, let's write that down. First boot, 1 minute, 27.9 seconds. Now let's time the shutdown. All right, so let's restart the stopwatch. And as soon as I hit shutdown, we'll go from there. One, two, three. Logging off, shutting down, get ready. As soon as the play thing shows up, we'll call it done. And done. We missed that, so I'm going to say it was like 14 seconds. Do you think that's fair? Mm -hmm. Okay. So shut down. 14 seconds. All right. Actually, first shut down. So you guys can see this, right? All right, so now let's do, let's just boot up, time it again. We still haven't done anything yet. I'm still timing. Uh, this is just to retime, just to see if anything changes from the initial first boot. Doesn't look like anything's going to change, but we'll see. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> forty five forty six. And as soon as everything loads, we'll call it not yet, not yet. All right, now it's done. So roughly the same, a little bit less, 122. I'm going to note that down. Second boot, one minute, 22.6 seconds. And note, this is still without 
any changes to the registry. So, all right, so now let's do the registry changes. Let's launch up registry booster. We'll say yes. Let it scan the system. See if it finds the same amount of issues as yesterday. That'll be interesting. So let's let it scan again. Already found 21 errors. I mean, theoretically, it should find the same amount of errors as yesterday because nothing has changed since then. Looks like it's going to, which is good. Gives it some, I guess you could say, reliability maybe. All right, so let's fix these errors. Try out registry booster. Well, it can only fix them for free. All right, so let's just fix 15 errors. Let's see what happens. Because I'm not purchasing the software. All right, so with that, I mean, I wish I could do all of them, but it doesn't let me. So I'm just going to, now let's time the shutdown, just to see if it makes any difference with the 15 that it fixed. So as soon as I click sh shutdown, we'll start. All right, so let's time that, shutting down, shutting down. Shutting down. Uh, I'm going to deduct one second, but even still, so this is the shutdown, shutdown after registry fix. And I'm going to deduct a full second, 15 seconds. It's still less. I mean, it's still more. It's actually more, not even the same than before we did the fix. So now let's type, now let's do the boot up to see if it does any different. All right, so let's shut down after. Let's do boot up after registry fix and let's see what that is All right, as soon as I hit the play button we'll do it one two three so now it's booting up and we're waiting now I'm not going to even edit this video uh, I'm just going to stick uh, assuming I have to stick the the time over the over the screencast video if I have to it may just pick it up now that's on the actual desktop and then what I'll do is I'll just upload it so you guys can watch it in real time because I don't I don't think editing the video will do any good um, so let's see what happens here waiting waiting so it'll be interesting to see if it does anything different Call it done. All right, so that was a 117 after the fixes. Once one minute, 17 seconds, 17.8 seconds, which is an improvement. Uh, noticeable? No, but again, the the shutdown time was less too. So I'm going to run this again, see if it lets me fix anything else. We'll see what happens. Just to keep it interesting. See if it finds anything new. Nope, still the same 28. Let's see if it lets me fix any more. 
Nope, can't. All right, so let me um, see if I can re restore those items just for the hell of it. And we'll do one more quick check. I'm going to restore them, and uh, I'm going to reboot. So let's test it one more time just to be thorough here. All right, so I'll reset that. I'm going to click reboot. As soon as I do that, you press the button. All right, so let's time this now that they're restored. All right, so it was it was like 13 seconds. We missed it. We'll just deduct 13 seconds from this to keep it real. So we'll see like if, if the boot time goes back up after restoring the ones that it fixed or if it stays the same. We'll make sure we deduct the 13 seconds from whatever we added. In fact, it may we may it may, it may be less, which is not which is oh my god is less. Uh, even with restoring the items. All right, call it done. So let's just I don't know what's 62. I'm sorry, I suck at math. 49 second boot. Let's just say let's round it to 50 to be. You know, fair enough. So even after restoring the items, we still had a faster boot after all. So we had, let's say, a 50 second boot after uh, after restoring items, which is interesting. So do what you want with this information. I personally stand behind the fact that registry cleaners, registry boosters, whatever you want to call them, are a waste of your time and money. Even if the fix did knock off, uh, what is it, five seconds or so, uh, then, you know, five seconds, no one's going to notice that, unless you're an uber PC enthusiast like myself or someone else, you may not even notice that five seconds. Then again, after restoring the items, we noticed that the boot time was was decreased to 50 50 seconds uh, pr from the previous uh, two boots, which I don't know. Uh, honestly, it could be the prefetch that kicked in on the Windows side of things that helped decrease the boot time. It, it was able to load more items faster uh, with prefetch or whatever the case may be. As you notice, we dropped a number of, uh, we dropped another five, uh, five seconds from the previous boot. Uh, when we after this on the second boot from the first boot to the second boot we dropped five seconds So it could be the prefetch kicking in there But then we dropped all the way down to 50 seconds at, even after restoring the items so As again again do what you want with this information I still stand behind the fact that these things that do nothing It's all a mind game and that boot times will vary uh, on, on systems all the time uh, even on a controlled environment like this you can see that they did vary so five seconds here five seconds there take it or leave it however you wish I still think they do nothing anyway thanks for watching we'll see you next time and uh, l let me know what you think in the comments and check out the site best take it on net and slash or best take it on it slash forums to get all your PC Mac electronic questions answered we'll see you and take care of your computers registry cleaners or not